It's probably happened to you. You're touring a friend's new renovation, ooing and awing, when suddenly a male voice pipes up and says, have you seen our new stove? You have to see our stove. Since when did men get excited by appliances? Or you ask what the counter is made of, and the man of the house says, oh, it's marble and it has a double OG edge. And that's when there's a woman in the mix. Imagine what must happen when they're alone. What are men doing in the most important room of the house? What are guys doing in the kitchen? It's not sort of a typical guy's overly macho kitchen. It just isn't. A French country kitchen? There must be a woman here somewhere. What are guys doing in the kitchen? In this edition of House and Home, Jamie Holden's kitchen needed a makeover. His solution? Designed by jury. A jury of three men. I've got to see this one. So it's nice of you to take this time off work to tour this kitchen with me. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to have you here. You'd normally be at the office. I'd normally be at the office. And you'd be at your restaurant. Yes. And you would be doing what? I would <laughs> be off designing another kitchen like this one. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Thank you. We're here because we want to find out if men really care about their kitchens. So what's your story? How did this happen? <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting story. Uh, my friend Vito here has been constantly at me. I had an old uh, kitchen that was white, and uh, it started to yellow. It was, so you uh, wanted him to change his kitchen. Why? Why? I guess I put a little more pressure on him because I had just done my kitchen at home, and Randy did it for me. He did an outstanding job, and it turned out really well. And Jamie he was had seen a it. Kickback. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie had seen it, and he liked it as well. But the, the yellowing on the doors, because the doors were yellow, and the rest. Everything else was still white, and it, it just stood out like a sore thumb. I wanted to just do the doors, though. He just wanted to replace the doors, so yeah, actually, it was. They, yeah, asked Randy if he can just come in and yeah. give it a facelift, well, and you know, common. leave and just change the doors. He laughed at me. <laughs> so you had a pretty crappy kitchen. Well, no, he just said it's not worth it. People anyway. told me I was crazy to redo my kitchen. Who? What? One person? No, I'm all my friends. This is a beautiful kitchen. What are you doing? Not all me. your friends. <laughs> well, I would have they one. <laughs> Did you know what you wanted? I had an idea what I wanted. It had to be fitting with the house. A lot of pine furniture period pieces. It couldn't be too modern. It has to be comfortable, but yet it also has to be able to be worked in. Yeah, but are you really a big cook? I cook a lot. I entertain a lot. I have people over. Always have kitchen parties. We were able to express his personality in his own kitchen by, you know, listening to him and um, just following through with what he needed, not with what we wanted. You know, we mm -hmm. didn't impose the design upon him. Well, that's not quite true. There were a couple things we disagreed with. <laughs> like? Uh, Randy won. Yeah, we just had to make like, some corrections. What did you disagree with? I guess the only thing we did disagree on was the countertops. I did want black. Well, you got black. I, I got black, but I wasn't yeah, supposed to get black. You tube of green before. You so know, what's this? Is, this? This is um, Precambian black, so it's Canadian granite, but it has um, an interesting texture on it. What did you want him to have? Um, actually, I wanted to have style stone, which has a leather finish to it, okay. which is very similar, but so similar. it's not quite as wretch as as yeah. as this product. Um, yeah. So you you approve? Yes, very much approved. Very much Once approved. Got in, he said he, he didn't say it was bad. He goes, well, I guess it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to hear it all the time. Did you disagree on anything else? <laughs> um, no, I don't think we had disagreements. Um, he wanted me to um, panel the fridge. There's so much um, wood in the in the room. I thought yeah. maybe the stainless steel might look a little too industrial, yeah. and we didn't want to be industrial. You're okay with it. And I thought it balanced room out. <laughs> I think he's ruined the kitchen by putting it in. Seriously? But... <laughs> no, no, it's great. No, there's actually a little stainless here, a little stainless there. A little, yeah, and it's big all piece fine. Here, but... These are small things, but the big thing is the stove. Someone had to choose the stove, and someone had to justify the expense of a restaurant stove. Who did that? I'm looking at you, Vito, because I think you had uh, something to do with it. Well, I, he had seen the one I have at home, yeah. which is I had a six burner, and I actually tried to talk him into getting a six burner as well because he does cook, and even though I, I'm a chef, he probably cooks at home more than I do. There wasn't the space for it. What did you think of the price? Of the stove? Um, Was it to surprise you? No, I got it on sale. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, big, heavy-looking stove, yeah. which uh, adds something to the room. It's almost it's like fabulous. a piece of art. He liked the red knobs. Oh, yeah, they're great. No, and Vito, on the other what? hand, did not want red knobs. Do you like the red knobs with red walls, at least? I'm not big on it. I prefer black. Don't Boy, you got a lot of interference yeah, in your, yeah. your design. <laughs> Who needs to be married? But, <laughs> but they do. But so they do look good. There's for no me, bad. he picked the wrong yeah. fridge. For him, he picked the wrong stove. But yeah, no, but it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Exactly. Right. So you think it was money happy. well spent? I think it's all been very worthwhile, and uh, I'm glad I did it. Hey, what about the wall color? Because that's 
really good. Goes with uh, the wood. It does, I think, uh, certainly help with the richness of the wood. It's got depth and character, yeah, it's and great. it works with everything. I agonized over it. Yeah, did you yeah, try a few colors? I had a few, but uh, I think it was only three. That's I think you, pretty good. you were pretty much set on what um, you were going to do. Yeah. But you kept the prettiness. You kept the chintz. Well, I sort of was chintzing there because I wanted to make sure the paint color also yeah. matched that so I wouldn't but have to recover. That. I mean, it's not looking sort of really macho, which is no. ugly, you know? Do you have a cottage? Uh, well, I do, but it's in Quebec. Okay, but that, you see, I get that from this kitchen. I feel that. But it, you can sort of get a sense that this man likes cottage or country. This is a total reflection of yeah. Jamie's personality, which is, you know, his color of the red, the, the wood, yeah. which is, is older, it's mature. Yeah. No, that's it. Now it all makes sense to me. <laughs> if someone said, all right, whose kitchen is this? I just put it as a family kitchen. I wouldn't know if it was a man's kitchen or a woman's kitchen. Well, I did a really good job. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. It's not sort of a typical guy's overly macho kitchen. <laughs> it just isn't. I'm impressed. This is a great kitchen. All well, works very well. Thank you. Thank you.